what I'm going to talk about tonight. I had another video all planned out, but then something happened. It was just such a big little thing that I wanted to share. And so that is what we're talking about tonight. There's actually two big things that have happened with Maggie lately. And again, they're not big, big things, but they're things that I think are pretty cool. Libby is in here with me. You may hear her in the background sighing or making other puppy sounds. Earlier today, I heard Tessie crying and she was clearly very upset. We are on day three of snow days, which means it's going to be five days without school because Tessie won't keep her gloves on. She can't be outside for very long before she gets so cold that, she, that I have to bring her back in. And so everyone is going a little bit stir crazy. We spent a little bit of time out, outside each day and it was a lot of fun, but it's also a lot of time just being in the house. It was zero degrees Fahrenheit when we woke up this morning which isn't super cold for where we are but it is cold <laughs> and it means that we are inside a lot more than we usually are. I heard Tessie crying and she was clearly very upset and I went to see what was wrong. And honestly, I thought what I was gonna find was probably her trying to build something and it not working because that is not the number one thing that upsets her. She's saying Amazon. Maybe I'll check it. Hold on. When she requests an app, I get an email. Yep, Thomas and Friends, go, go, Thomas. They're mostly free apps, but their apps that have to be approved by parents on the Amazon store. She requests so many games. This one, Secret Pet Detective, Street Food Chef. Nope, you're not getting Instagram, decline. Tessie started to cry and I rushed to where she was and I couldn't see anything that was apparently wrong. She wasn't hurt. Um, she was just really, really upset. Mm. And so I said, Maggie, what's wrong with Tessie? Why is she upset? I wasn't really expecting her to answer me like with what was actually wrong, but <laughs> she did. And she she's usually so quiet by this time. And, she, and Maggie said, Tessie's sad, iPad unavailable. And so basically, Tessie had realized that the Kindle that she had wanted to play on that she put down earlier had gotten dead and there was not a Kindle for her to play with. And that was why she was very, very sad, which is kind of surprising because usually when there's not one at this point, both girls are pretty good with it. But I think it was probably the boredom of more or less being stuck inside for three days. But I thought it was just really cool that Makey said that. She may not speak in grammatically correct full sentences, but she's really good at getting her point across with the words that she does choose to use. The other story that I am going to tell you is also about Maggie and Tessie, and it is a little bit ridiculous. The other day, on Tuesday, which was our last day that the kids were at school before all this, before this big storm hit, I was getting Maggie ready to go in the morning and she started saying, Tessie, no school, Tessie, school canceled. Tessie, no school, Tessie, school canceled. Um, different versions of that. And she really wanted me to say it too. And I was like, Tessie does have school. T Maggie goes to heart school. Tessie goes to, and I would say Tessie's school's name. Um, and usually she repeats that and she will say the names of each of the kids' schools um, when I say them and will confirm that everyone is going to school. But on this day, she would not do that. She just kept saying, Tessie, no school. She wanted me to say it. So finally I said, Tessie, no school. Tessie, school canceled. And I said, but it's not, maybe. It might be tomorrow because of the storm, but it's not canceled today. And she flatly rejected that. She went to school. She got ready for school. It was fine. She went, she got on the bus. She was happy. At one point while she was at home, before she got on the bus, I said, Maggie, Tessie goes to Tessie school, but maybe when she's older, maybe she'll go get to go to heart school with you. And Maggie, she looked at me and she was like, Maggie school, heart school. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, Maggie's school is heart school. You're right, it is. It's your school. And I, that surprised me too, because sometimes she'll say heart school, Sadie, Sadie, go to heart school, or she'll, and, and she'll go through all the kids and name Tessie. So I was surprised that she had that reaction where she actually pointed to herself, <laughs> very adamant that it was her school. So she'd been at school for about an hour when I saw an email pop up in my inbox, and it was from her teacher. And it asked me whether or not, it said Maggie has been insisting all morning that Tessie doesn't have school today, that Tessie's school is canceled, that Tessie's school is over, and that Tessie is now going to heart school. So they wanted to know if Tessie was transferring to Maggie's school, which is in the same district. Yeah, I wrote back and I explained the whole thing I just explained to you and that I wasn't quite sure why, but Maggie was insisting that Tessie didn't have school, although she did. When Maggie got off the school bus, I asked her, I said, where's Tessie? And she said, Tessie home. And I said, Tessie's at Tessie's school. And she said, Tessie's school canceled, Tessie home. And then I snapped a picture of Maggie and I sent it to my mom. And she noticed that the video that Maggie had on the screen 
scre screen was the video of Tessie's first day of school when Tessie got sent home and couldn't go to that school anymore. So I think that might be the root cause of all of that. I just, well, my mom just figured that out today. It's always an adventure in communication and I can't wait to see what she comes up with next. That's it for today. If you like this video, we'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in all things autism, we'd love it if you did subscribe and I'll see you on Monday. And hopefully everyone will be at school.